Hey, and welcome in another Photoshop tutorial. And it's really exciting video because I'm going to show you amazing tip or rather creative tips uh, on how to create amazing mood on the image or how to create amazing atmosphere on the image using a few simple steps. And once again, you probably notice if you follow this tutorial, I'm not really fan of giving you tips that add this value here and this value here to achieve this and this effect. Um, to be honest, tutorials like this are not right because every image is different and you have to approach every image individually or at least the image from different sets. So what I'm presenting you here is I'm giving you steps. I um, want to give you sort of understanding of Photoshop, how you can work and experiment with the same adjustment layer uh, with the same ways how to achieve your own results that you really desire. And we'll be working on a great image that was taken by Dominika Jarczyńska, thanks to her. Uh, it's fashion image, it could be as well in some magazine. So I think it's absolutely amazing example. So let's jump into Photoshop and you can see the image I was working on. And this is the very simple edit I did. So the problem with this image it was nice, it had already really nice atmosphere, but it was a little bit yellowish, I believe. So there is few things with color we need to sort out and I believe some things with the lights. It's specific image because it was a little dark. Um, it doesn't really matter too much because you can adjust the values for um, image that will be brighter as well and it will work just fine for you anyway. But as you can see, we did quite a nice uh, solid grading, um, a very short one, and as well uh, light work, luminosity work to improve this image. So I'm going to remove this edit and we'll start from the beginning with these few simple steps. And the first thing that I really like to do is setting up the color theme for the image. So whether the image will be warm, whether the image will be cold, what do you want, what the people that you work with want. So this image is warm and the best way for this image in such a case to go with would be probably warm color. Uh, we will see if that will work well. Um, I will go with soft light. Also, that's very important. Just experiment with different um, blending modes. I, I was checking before, so I know the soft light actually works on this image. It does affect luminosity values, but from the creative and contrasty colors that I apply for the image, soft light is probably the only one I use. I don't use um, overlay. It's too strong. I only use normal color, luminosity, soft light, screen. I used a few times uh, for my retouching job as well. And I'm looking at this image and I feel, well, this image, um, actually, yeah, the warm color goes easier on this because this image was called before. But what I recommend you to go, go over the line and see at what point this image looks actually best. And I think once we get to the blue colors, this image will get in interesting atmosphere. It's a little colder, but it does seem like it suits a little more to this image. That's why I will decide to stay with the blue color, but also you will decide on your own, working on your own images, what's the color that you want, what's the color that you choose by checking which color goes best with the image. It's very important. Uh, remember to preserve um, the knowledge about color harmonies, which is very important. We have quite uh, analogic colors on this image, so that's not the problem. Uh, but remember, I'm talking about the other tutorial in other tutorials about color harmony, so uh, make sure you will check it. Um, other tutorials, if you're not sure, Google color harmonies is worth to learn if you think about photography and post processing in a serious way. Um, also, this image is part of my retouching course. If you would be interested, just check the description, that's all I have to say. So, okay, we added the color. And next thing is I want to work a little bit with luminosity, with the color, um, sorry, with the light. So I would name this matte. Well, I said luminosity, but I'm putting matte. Why? 
because I want to add some sort of matte effect. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut out the darkest colors because what is happening here, we have few sliders. We have this histogram on the top. We have dark slider, medium, white, which is responsible. Shadows, mid-tones, highlights, and here is also shadows, highlights, but these sliders um, cut out the light. So for example, if we go here, the image is super dark because the darkest point is allowed to be on the image. I'm cutting this till this level, let's say, and then the darkest point is this amount of gray, and I'm cutting some highlights, and it means this amount of white is the brightest color. And then it doesn't look well, so I'm going to darken a little bit. Shadows and mid-tones. That's something I do really want, and have a look. I think we got really nice atmosphere. We brought up a little bit more details from the shadows and the highlights are also slightly more calm, which goes really well on this image. One thing, I'm changing blending mode from normal to luminosity. Why I'm doing this? Because every time you work with levels, curves, or this sort of adjustment layers that affect the lights, you will also affect the saturation values. So if you change to luminosity, it means you will affect on the luminosity and not the colors. So that's why I'm going with this because I do want to preserve the colors that were here. They are more visible, but the reason is because we darken, change amount of the light on the color. So why the color look different for you? Because now, for example, oranges that are mainly in the highlights have less, less light. Next step, uh, let's do some short color adjustment, which I will use curves for it. Grading. And let me think, what would go well on this image? I will start with blue color because we have quite obvious yellows here, which is opposite to the blue color and some of the cold. So I'm um, looking at her clothes. I might say the slightly bluish, which I would like to correct. So I'm gonna go just a little down with the curve. And also I'm going to increase the blues on the highlights. Is it visible? I think it is. Yeah, I can see on the clothes. Look at the clothes. They were like a little bluish and luckily we're able to correct that. We added some yellow color on the skin, don't worry, that will be part that we'll take care of. And let's go to the red, and for the red, like really small touch on the shadows again, and just decrease on the highlights. Hope it's not too much, but it's the this is the atmosphere I do like here, and I'm going to change this into color opposite to what was before. I was working with colors now and they might change lum luminosity values, but I don't want this. So I'm changing blending mode to color to affect only the color values. So we are nearly done, but still some small correction at the very end. And I will use hue saturation for it. I'm gonna name this saturation. And how I like to work with the saturation, I'm looking at the image and searching which color I'm not going to use or does not exist here. And we have reds, we have yellows, probably some greens somewhere, not really cyan's, not blue. So I might go with uh, one of these colors and I will choose color from the legs with this eyedropper or somewhere from the face. And then I'm going to decrease some of the saturation. Maybe the value six, not too much. And also I think it's a little too yellowish. So like if I go this way, it will be too yellowish inside the green colors. So I will decrease the hue value for one. And I think this, at this moment, we have really nice balance. So I'm gonna put this to the group, name this edit. And I just want to compare to before again. And it looks just the way I do really like it. I think we could maybe even darken uh, a little bit mid-tones, but I don't want to go too far here. Um, except darken mid-tones, we could brighten up the image in general a little bit to 
make it more visible. If you will like it, of course, but I think that could be too much. So let's keep the nice and dark atmosphere on the image and I hope you like it. So what I try to show you, stay creative, use the same tips, adjust them to your own images and think selectively, think with the colors, think of the skin, what's the skin tone? Should I decrease the saturation? Should I change a little hue? Should I correct the clothes? Um, should I make this image a little darker, a little brighter? Think of those things. I think you did learn from this lesson uh, how to think this way. So thank you for watching this video. I was really happy to share this information with you. Make sure you follow me on Instagram where I share my daily photography that I do here around Hong Kong. Uh, check the description for some other materials that you need. And if you don't subscribe, make sure you subscribe because I'm giving you really good tips on post-processing because I do this all the time. So thank you for watching and I'm going to see you in the next Photoshop tutorial.